kingdom style I was called to reign on now Ministry in the world of life To the weak to give them strength To the blind to make them see Through Christ who strengthened me I am something, I am a light A royal priest to lonely nation And hear of God So call me kingdom time I am something, I am a light A royal priest to lonely nation And hear of God So call me kingdom time Has promised me to be my you are welcome Darling. once again to this show. This is Kingdom Stars on Okongo TV. My name is Dr. Omoni Yadioye. Please, if you have not subscribed to this channel, kindly do and click the notification bell so that you'll be aware anytime we upload our fantastic content. I want you to see them. You will like them. You are going to love them. Today on Kingdom Stars, I'm bringing to your view another great man of God, a drama minister to the core. He is a script writer, a member of Mount Zion. He is an actor par excellence. He's also a director. Today he's going to share with us a lot of things, things that he has passed through from the beginning up to date. Ah. It is thick. I'm talking about no other person than Evangelist Femi Akitude. Please come with me. I am a kingdom star. I was called to reign on now. Ministry in the world of life. To the weak to give them strength. To the blind to make them see. Through Christ who strengthened me. I'm Evangelist Isaac Femi Akitunde from Mazayan Faith Ministries International. To the glory of God, I'm a screenwriter, a movie director, and an actor. I attended um, local authority primary school, Idikwago, and uh, community grammar school, same Idikwago. After which I proceeded to um, Divisional Teachers College, Shaki, all in New York State. Um, 1991, I gave my life to Jesus Christ. I became born again. And uh, thank God. Um, we have been moving since then. Since then. I've uh, had um, a call to join the Monsan Faith Ministries since 1992. And uh, I've been reading that in the ministry at that time, that uh, I want to become one of them. Um, the answer they always give to me was that uh, <clears throat> um, they are no more looking for new members. So I, I was hoping, and uh, they always write me uh, to tell me the next academic session of the Mazan Institute of Christian Drama. So, the registrar of the institution will always write me and probably sending me, yeah, the, uh, the, he always sends um, the form to me. And uh, <laughs> as God we have it, um, anytime the letter came, there would be no, <clears throat> there would be no finances, no financial power to pursue my vision at that time until 1997. So 1997, I came to Mazan Institute of Christian Drama. And uh, after the course, I went back to my base in Kaduna. I actually came from Kaduna. I relocated to Kaduna from my, from Oyo State, 1992. And uh, <clears throat> I went back to Kaduna after my training Institute of Christian Drama in 1997. And uh, one evening after I've attended the course, um, in a parlor, in a sitting room, people were gathered, they were, we were watching 
one more Zion film, and the title of that movie was uh, The Blood Covenant. And uh, <clears throat> the person who happens to be my wife now, the, today, was playing a very minor role there. And people asked me a question. They called me, they said, ah, they, normally they called me Elvis back there, back there in Kaduna. And they called me. They were watching the movie. They paused the movie. And I was in the toilet. They called me. You were the one who went to the Manzayan Institute of Christian Drama. They asked you, this lady, Bosse, is, is, is she married? And my answer was that I didn't know because uh, I didn't find out when I was in the school. Said, ah, and they started laughing at me that I, don't, I didn't know anything. I just went there for fun and all that. And uh, I heard that voice within me that says that she is not married and that is your wife. Hmm. When I heard that, I was shocked. I thought it was the devil that was talking. And uh, since then, my peace ceased. And I was uh, <clears throat> looking for a way of getting to her. So, finally I traveled all the way from Kaduna to Ibadan. Then, in 19, that was 1990, uh, 1997 January, yeah, uh, 1997 December, yeah. So, I have to travel all the way from Kaduna and uh, I saw the vice president, the then vice president in person of evangelist, uh, Ore Adiwale. So I told him this is what I saw. And uh, he said, and all the way when I was in the institute, I was talking, I was discussing with him, uh, I, I mean evangelist Ore Adiwale and uh, evangelist Yemi Adepochu. I was discussing with them my intention to join the ministry on full time. And uh, they will always tell me that, okay. I should keep on praying. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I came. I made my intention known to him that uh, this is what I saw. And he said that uh, if that is what you saw, you have to, you have to take it easy. <laughs> so, I was taking it easy. He said I should be coming for programs and all that. So, I left again to, to my base in Kaduna. So, <clears throat> later, I just got a call from him. He said I should just travel down. That they want to see me. Ah, I wanted to, to see me, so I travel down, and he told me that uh, uh, that thing that the Lord laid in my heart, I should just go ahead and talk to her. <laughs> I said okay, and uh, then we are always looking at Mount Zion as uh, as if they are not existing on this planet Earth. So it was a tug of war for me. To make my intention known to her. So I called her. We met at the Bora Mission, then the Bora Mission, uh, where, where we did the training then. So we met there. And uh, I didn't know how to propose. I just told her, as you see me, uh, if I remember, I can, I, I can still remember, <coughs> said, as you see me, the Lord told me that you are my wife. I am a kingdom star. I was called to reign on now. Ministry in the world of life. To the weak to give them strength. To the blind to make them see. Through Christ who strengthened me. My wife, and see, before you see anything, uh, uh, this is me. I begin to talk to her that, uh, see, because. Deep down inside of me, I want to propose in such a way that the sister will say no. So that uh, that body will get, uh, get off my neck. So, hey, as you see me, uh, I get angry easily. This is me. I will begin to talk. I began to tell her um, the bad side of myself. And uh, at the end of the day, I said, oh, but the Lord said, you are my wife. So will you marry me? And she said, ah, just like that. I said, ah, well, just like that. She said, okay. As she can't give any answer now, I should travel back. And then <clears throat> she will pray about it. So I, I went back to my base. And uh, <clears throat> I forgot about the whole thing. 
I was expecting a no for an answer, for, for that particular answer. So I just forgot about everything. I was going about my normal business when I received a call. It was landline at that time. So that place is far from my place. So I just got that call. A church member was working in that business center. So that church member now ran to come and tell me that I have a very important call. So I went and uh, there was the call again. I picked the call only for her to tell me that I should start coming to Ibadan again. Okay? And uh, it doesn't, uh, <clears throat> like some people will say it doesn't bite. To travel from Kaduna to Lagos then was very easy for me because I would there's this night bus that we we call uh, Good Night Kaduna, Good Morning Lagos. So by 7 p.m., I was at Mondo Park. I came down to Ibadan again, as usual. Uh, I remember it was a Sunday, and uh, she told me that she has she had prayed, and the Lord has uh, <coughs> spoken to her about the relationship but uh, he will want me to see um the president of the ministry first ah <sighs> okay i said okay how can we let's go so that we can see i said no i'm going to uh, for another assignment so he described the place for me at ashi that i should go and see him so i got there when i got there evangelist mike bamiloye uh, we, we saw, I greeted him and uh, he said, are you the person? I said, yes, from Kaduna. I said, yes. He said, okay. So, <clears throat> and he told me, he, he told me, you love our sister? I said, yes. And he said, um, all right, are you ready to marry our sister? I said, ah, by the grace of God, I am ready. I said, and he said that, uh, okay. But I, I told him, I said, um, I wanted to become one of uh, the ministers in the ministry. And that has been my my dream for so long. God told me that I should come and work in the ministry. And uh, that is what I want us to discuss first before the issue of uh, sister or no sister. Then she said, he said something, he smiled and said, uh, you want to marry our sister? I said, yes. And you want to become a member of the ministry? I said, yes. Ah. He said, automatically you have become a member of the ministry. So since you are marrying our sister. And uh, so I was happy. And he said that, okay. Uh, he ran upstairs and came back with his diary. And opened his diary and told me that uh, <clears throat> God told him early that year. That was 1998. That God told him early that year when he was praying for my wife now my wife when he was praying for her that uh, he would get married on october 24 and he wrote it down and he looked at my face he said are you ready for marriage i said yes i'm ready though no, i don't have anything then <clears throat> said, are you ready for marriage i said i'm ready he said it's october 24 i said no no problem sir I go and tell uh, your people that you want to get married so i traveled from there i've left home for seven years without nobody knowing my my way are about. I am a kingdom star. I was called to reign on now. Ministry in the world of life. To the weak to give them strength. To the blind to make them see. Through Christ who strengthened me. So I, I, I went back to Shaki where my parents base, were based. And uh, I told them I want to get married. They said, ah, is that what you came home, you came home to do? I said, yes. They said, ah, now that you want to marry, are you are telling us the date? I said, well, my, my wedding is uh, God's project, and they will do it. Ah, they said, ah, they, they did not understand. And uh, they thought they, they could talk me out of it, but they couldn't talk me out of it. So, um, so on the 24th of October, I got married to my beautiful wife. Grace Femi Akintunde. Okay. And, and the Lord has blessed us with two wonderful children. Um <coughs> Samuel Shay Femi Akitunde and uh, Grace Angela Jesu Femi Akitunde. And uh, 
the work of the ministry has been so um, has been so good, though full of ups and downs. I am a kingdom star. I was called to reign on now. Ministry in the world of life. To the weak to give them strength. To the blind to make them see. Through Christ who strengthens me. Yes, by the grace of God, I will have been a, a drama minister because I love drama. I've been acting drama since when I was very, very small in the primary school. And people know me for drama. So at a point um, in my life, I, the, there was this um, cavalry drama group that uh, belongs to the First Baptist Church in the Quago. I was an active member. I rose to the uh, position of the secretary of that group at that time. So I've been doing drama. So the only thing will have been that uh, I will not be able to, I may not be able to join Mount Zion on full time, but I will still be a drama minister because I love drama. Even in, in uh, Kaduna, I was the drama coordinator of my church. Then. The first movie I participated in was uh, Just a Little Scene. That was the first ever movie that I, I was, I played, uh, I was one of the, I was in the midst of congregation. Is uh, that movie is uh, more than Wakapas, is lesser than Wakapa self. So if we, I don't point to myself, you may not see. But that was the first movie that I participated in. Then the first movie that I played major um, supportive role was um, um, Forgotten Ones. Yes, Forgotten Ones. And uh, that's a challenge, about, some, something challenged me about that movie. And uh, it's that um, <clears throat> my father in the Lord, Evangelist Mike Bamiloye, uh, we come to the palace because I play the role of one wicked ballet there. We come to the palace and I'll be, I'll be talking to him as if he's my boy. So it gave me a lot of challenges. I was looking at him as a father in the Lord. I couldn't just talk to him anyhow. But uh, <clears throat> himself allayed the fear as if he was reading my heart. He called me aside and I said, let's rehearse. And we started rehearsing and he said, ah, this is how you should do it. He was telling me, it's not, it was not as if I don't know how to do it. But because he was involved, so what he himself could, read, he could just read that. And he was telling me, this is how to say it. Say it emphatically. Just talk like that. Talk like that. That's okay. So it's not a sin for me to talk to him anyhow. So, and uh, by the grace of God, the Lord saw me through that, uh, that movie. That was, the, that would be the first movie that we appear well, well. Let me put it down. <laughs> the first movie I directed, I uh, was um, in the Olua, God's Heritage. We shot that movie, dual language. English and Yoruba. And uh, before then, I've been, I've been the uh, uh, assistant director um, <clears throat> with um, Evangelist Yemi Adepoju of the same Monsan Faith Ministries. He's a wonderful brother. Yeah. So we've been working together, working together until that uh, in Ulua. I decided to direct the in Ulua by myself. And uh, uh, with the support of Dr. Adeoye. Ulua Sumi Omone of Calvary uh, Medical Center. So, and uh, <clears throat> we did the work. It was so tedious because the <clears throat> the script was so voluminous, and uh, we are shooting dual language. So it gave us a lot of uh, sleepless nights. I think we did 48 hours non-stop uh, when we are shooting that movie. And I want to appreciate everybody that is part of that production. People worked. Everybody. To mention but a few, I want to appreciate um, my brother. Um, let me call him an evangelist. Evangelist uh, Tunde Owa, the production manager, the assistants. I can't just remember names. But I want to appreciate Tunde Owa 
and the assistants. I want to appreciate the likes of uh, Baro Timi Amodu, Komo of Blessed Memory, um, Dr. Adil himself, though he's my, uh, I don't know, now, but uh, then uh, I still have to appreciate him. I want to appreciate himself. I want to appreciate the crew members. I want to appreciate everybody on that production because it was a tedious work. I want to appreciate the, 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 uh, the uh, uh, I want to appreciate John Ogutuashi. He played the lead role of that movie. I want to appreciate um, Essan Oye Kunle and many other people. I want to appreciate Buki, ah, Buki that we later got, got married to in our ministry. Yeah, they did wonderfully at that time. I want to have, appreciate everybody for that production. It was just studious. And the Lord saw us through at the end of the day. I remember Brother Tunde Owa landed in the hospital. I, I think Dr. Adewe was even taking him to the hospital straight from the production. I want to appreciate everybody sincerely from my heart for that movie. And, and uh, since then, I've gained the boldness to begin to direct my movies myself. I, and uh, I directed uh, um, by the grace of God, um, Omotani, yes, Omotani, directed Omotani, and then from there, yes, I began to direct. I, I began to direct for other brethren, even in the ministry. Uh, I directed for uh, Ramatiu, Ramatiu Bamidili. Um, I've forgotten the movie now, but I directed that movie, and I directed. Um, <coughs> um, Ulua Gwimi's movie also, um, I think Ikekun, and it was Dua, we shot it Dua language too, Ikekun, and uh, the rest of them. Since then I've been directing my movies by myself, and I have the opportunity to direct for, for other people outside my ministry, Mozambique Ministries. I am a kingdom star, I was called to reign on now. Ministry in the world of life To the weak to give them strength To the blind to make them see True Christ who strengthened me I directed Akobi Larry for the Parables Ministry, PVO And uh, the Lord was moving like that, like that I directed another one, uh, Lost Authority, Abi I've forgotten, but it's... Uh, eh? <laughs> So something like that, it has to do with authority for Pastor Adeshola and uh, some couples of uh, films like that that I've directed by my to the glory of God alone. All right, of course, my room would uh, in this ministry of drama is no any other person than my father in the Lord. He's a mentor, he's a father, he's everything to me aside Jesus Christ. Yeah. Um, Evangelist Mike Bamlui. I can mention that name over and over again. Evangelist Michael Abayomi Bamlui is my role model. Uh, well, talking about funding movies, there's no funding for any movie now, again. Um, in fact, um, one thing kept me moving in this drama ministry is just that uh, the Lord, the Lord, um, spoke to me some times ago and uh, he said that uh, can that the Adeboe stop preaching because people are parading his uh, um, his ministrations and I, I said no <laughs> so if those people cannot stop preaching because there are pirates everywhere that is pirating their messages so I said why not so he, he, he asked me to keep on moving and that, uh, that has been what is keeping us moving. So to the extent that uh, sometimes we finish production like this and uh, there will be nothing, absolutely nothing at all. Uh, I remember a particular one, I think during the production, during the, um, the shooting of this movie, Omotani, we finished and my son, my son said, he said, ah, Ah, this God is awesome. Are we 
gather people together, we'll feed them and all that. And after they might have left, there will be nothing at all. <laughs> I smile. I say that is how God works many times. Uh, but we thank God He has been keeping us. He has been keeping us. I am a kingdom star. I was called to reign on now. Ministry in the world of life. To the weak to give them strength. To the blind to make them see. Through Christ who strengthens me. I have an experience. I have an experience um, some years back. I went to the redemption camp to go and pray, to have a retreat. And I was there for, uh, I, I, I was there to pray and fast for seven days. And uh, I was praying. I had that belief in my heart that the Lord will answer my prayers. I was even picturing somebody coming to tap me and said, your prayer has been answered. This is the check the Lord wants you to give, uh, want me to give to you. Because at that time, I was owing some people on a particular production and I, I was praying to God seriously that God should make a way and the, the third day the third night I felt a hand woken me up and said pick your pen and write and I wrote the synopsis of Ikum uh, Beninu Ikuko that one also was short Dua language English and Yoruba I wrote the synopsis, I finished the synopsis and I burst into tears. I was weeping seriously because I was, I was actually asking God to give me money and he has given me another responsibility. And anytime the Lord dictates his message to me like that, I will not have rest of mind until I shoot the movie. So I, I wrote the synopsis. I was. Uh, I was not, uh, I was reluctant in developing the synopsis to a full length movie when the Lord spoke to me again that uh, he may replace me. So I wrote the script and I gathered people together again. We shot the movie and uh, 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 when we were shooting the movie, I shared it with some of the crew and one of them said, ah, and with this movie, we make money. So, and my heart clinked to that statement. I was so happy to hear that statement. But as God, we have his way. When we finish the movie, uh, we release the movie. We were expecting money. Uh, only for people to begin to call us that uh, there was a mistake. Uh, uh, when the, uh, we are uh, doing the mass production. They put one Ausa movie inside. And they branded it. Ikumbenino Ikoko blah blah but inside of it it was not so some people bought it they they, they they traveled with it and they started returning it back and it was like so and that was what killed the 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 the, the, the morale of that movie so if somebody wants to buy it another person will say ah it's another thing you will meet there i've bought it once and uh, it was that so so it kills the and that's that is to show that uh, when God wants to move, He doesn't move the way you think He will move. He will move in His own way. So uh, it kills the selling of that movie, but it, the, the the movie wrought wonders because many people were calling me. They were talking about that movie and uh, they were saying a lot of things about that movie. But uh, to sell, <laughs> it was a serious problem. So. Um, that has been the experience, but the Lord is still on the throne. <laughs> he will see us through. I am a kingdom star. I was called to reign on now. Ministry in the world of life. To the weak to give them strength. To the blind to make them see. Through Christ who strengthens me. Yeah, we have like three. We have like three now. Uh, we just concluded shooting one um, just some just a week ago we are hoping to release that one on the 12th of uh, of this month of february 2021 <laughs> and uh, the title is uh, scar it's a message that god gave to us for the um, youth for uh, valentine period so 
and we have another one that will probably come out also very soon and uh, is, the title is Enola and uh, we are working on the release of though that one has been released on the YouTube Google TV so and we are expecting the release of uh, Checkmate it was a collaboration between uh, Mozan Film Productions and uh, Ogungo TV. So, and that one, uh, we will release it on disc very, uh, very, very, very soon. And uh, there's another one that is coming. That one is Eru Eleru. Eru Eleru is uh, a production, a wonderful one for that matter. All glory to God. Uh, that was shot in my own village. Yes, uh, because God instructed us to do it that way, and we did it. So we are expecting that one also, by the grace of God. What I do normally to relax, after I've gone everywhere to work and work and work, the moment I enter into my house, before you can see me outside, it will take the grace of God. Because I relax more when I stay with my wife and children. Oh my God, I love it. So, we talk together, we gist, we discuss, we make jest of ourselves, you know that kind of a thing. We play games together. Uh, sometimes we play Ludo. I don't know how to play any other game aside Ludo. So, my wife and children, they know how to play. Uh, this is uh, this checkmate, uh, check, well, chess. <laughs> the game of chess, they know how to play it very well. They can, they have they can play that one. But me, I know how to play Ludo very well. And uh, I seems like a king in that area. I seems to beat everybody, including my wife. And uh, I will beat them. And uh, sometimes I do. <laughs> it's part of the game anyway. <laughs> so I love to stay with my family very, very well. So if we are to go, to go out, we go out together in many cases. Uh, at times I go out together with friends, we gist, we talk. I like to be free. So to be free with everybody, we can joke, we can, I don't mind your age. Since you, are, you show yourself that you, can, you, you are free too. So I can be very free with you. We talk, we gist, we discuss. But I love to stay with my family more than any other thing. Or either part-time or full-time, if you want to join drama ministry, just first of all rule out the issue of making money. So you don't enter into that ministry to make money. So if you come to that ministry because you want to make money, uh, you may be wrong, totally wrong. Uh, but come with the intention to save souls and to do the work of the ministry. And from there, God will begin to open uh, windows of heaven to you. Because if you, you are not impacting life, if you are not impacting the life of people, uh, 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 God himself may not remember you. <laughs> so if you are coming with the intention that, uh, uh, don't, let me enter into that ministry to make money, you may be wrong. You may be wrong. So, my advice, therefore, is that uh, you come with the mind of the ministry. And uh, after you might have served God faithfully, then the Lord will pay you back. If God cannot hold you. He will definitely, definitely pay you back. I am a kingdom star. I was called to reign on now. Ministry in the world of life. To the weak to give them strength, to the blind to make them see, through Christ who strengthens me. Wow, wow, this is deep. This is testimony. This is experience. This man is honestly loaded. I have enjoyed it. I believe you have also enjoyed his testimony. Do not just enjoy it. Just learn one or two things from it. Ah, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please, I'd like you to subscribe, please. And remember, click the notification bell. Next time on this show, I'm going to bring another Kingdom Star to you. For us to learn 
from his testimony or her testimony. Oh, don't worry, it's going to be very soon. Till then, I wish you a wonderful time. God bless you. Till the end, he carry his glory everywhere. Yes, promise me to be my suit, my dwelling place, and my help. I will wait on him till the end and carry his glory everywhere.